Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying rational exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x to the negative one-half power, y squared, all to the negative five-fourths power, over x squared times y to the one-half power, and we gotta simplify. Well, first thing is, let's distribute this exponent, and we do that by multiplication. So we have x to the negative one-half power times a negative five-fourths power times y squared times a negative five-fourths power all over x squared y to the one-half power. All right, let's go multiply that out. Negative one-half times a negative five-fourths is a positive five-eighths. So we have x to the five-eighths power. 2 times negative 5 fourths is y to the negative 10 fourths power. And the denominator, well, it just stays the same for the moment. x squared, y to the 1 half. Now from there, I'm going to bring my negative exponent down to the denominator. So to do that, put it right here. We have x to the 5 eighths power over x squared, y to the 1 half power. And we're bringing down that y to the now positive 10 fourth power, but it's in the denominator. Okay. Well, what do you know about our rules? When we have the same base, we add the exponents. So again, x to the 5 eighths stays in the numerator. We have x squared in the denominator still. Well, we want to add the exponents here. So we have y, and we have the same base. So 1 half is a 2 fourths plus a 10 fourths, like so. Adding the same base, all these little steps. That's one thing, oh, I got a five ahead of myself here. Should be an x. That's one thing that's difficult about doing this is having fraction with exponents, and it's not a work just to deal with those, adding the exponents. So we have x to the five eighths here, over x squared, and y to the, we add the exponents, and two fourths plus 10 fourths is a 12 fourths. But we're not done, almost there. Let's go simplify that exponent right here. So we have x to the 5 eighths stays here in the numerator. The denominator, we have x squared. And then, well, uh, y to 12 to the fourth power is the same thing as, well, to the third power. So we have y to the third power here. That's, oh man, that's a bad looking y. Sorry about that. I hope you feel, if you forgive me, let me know. <laughs> if not, well, whatever. Y to the third power. And so after all that, our final answer is x to the 5 eighths power over x squared y to the third power. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.